Hey everybody, how are you? So I'm so glad you're watching. Guys, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. <laughs> we are in uh, Peekskill in Westchester County. This is uh, in New York. This is my final stop, the last stop of the uh, Full Sharp. We have covered the entire state, every single county for three years in a row. And I would ask you, what other candidate would do that? None. Our governor doesn't. Our Republicans don't. Our Democrats don't. And the best part about it is I'm not even running for anything. So you might say to yourself, why in the world is Larry doing this? I'm doing this because it matters. I'm doing this because there are literally hundreds of libertarians running throughout the country and dozens running here in New York State. And we have our presidential candidate, Joe Jorgensen, running on top of the ticket. This is the year to vote gold and make change. This is the year. I know everyone says, I hear it all the time, Larry, this is the most important election ever. They're right. It is too important to not vote gold. It is too important to not vote gold this year. It is critical. This is the year where we can make actual change. We can make actual impact. And that's why I'm doing this. So you might say, well, Larry, I like you. I want to vote for you. Well, you can. <laughs> you can in a roundabout way. You can vicariously vote for me by voting for every libertarian on your ticket. If you do that, you are vicariously voting for me. So you can live the glory days of 2018, right? You can do it, absolutely. Live those glory days and go ahead and vote that libertarian uh, in your local area. And of course, top of the ticket, Joe Jorgensen. Why am I spending so much time talking about this? In New York State, we need at least 130,000 votes for Joe Jorgensen this year, or we will lose access to the ballot. What does that mean for the average person? You might say, well, I don't care about your ballot access, Larry. I'm a Democrat or I'm a Republican. You might believe that. I get that. But without us being able to be on the actual ballot, how in the world are you going to have competition for your Democrats and your Republicans? Most of these, of these races that are running, what do you know is going to win? It's gerrymandered to a point where the red always wins, the blue always wins. The states, most of them already set up, but we know the red always wins or the blue always wins. Well, if the red always wins or the blue always wins, What's their incentive to do well? What's their incentive to be better? When you only have two, and this happens all the time, when you only have two, by default, it becomes first a duopoly, then a cartel system, which creates individual monopolies. This happens in everything. When there's only two sodas, Coke or Pepsi, what happens? They decide, okay, Burger King gets Pepsi, McDonald's gets Coke, let's stop fighting. They create cartels and monopolies. It happens in soda. It happens in cable companies. Comcast gets this, Spectrum gets that, all you get is one cable company. It creates monopolies. It happened in politics too. This county's red, this county's blue. You get a Democrat, Republican, that's all you get. But once you have three, once you have that third party, that third choice, the second you have that, now each of them has to get better. Each of them has to become better. You want better Democrats, you want better Republicans, you want Republicans who actually care about things like less taxes and small business. They don't now. You want that? Have a strong libertarian party. You want Democrats who actually care about civil liberties? They're supposed to. They're not. Have a strong libertarian party. And you will have that. You have better Democrats and better Republicans. Even the best point of them all, you'll also have some libertarians. You might say, well, why do I care? I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican. Why do I care if I'm a Libertarian? Why does that matter to me? I'll tell you why. When you want something done and you need both parties to make any agreement, can that happen now? It can't. If you're a Republican, you cross the aisle to the Democrat, your career is over. Your career is over. They're going to primary you and you'll lose your seat. You're a Democrat, you get something done, cross the aisle, talk to Republicans, your career is over. They will primary you and you will lose your seat. So why would they? Why would they? We're seeing it right now in Congress right now. Everyone knows, you all know, I, everyone watching knows, the votes will be straight down, straight down party lines for our new justice, ACB. Right? It'll be straight down party line. Everything we're doing is theater right now. So all it is is theater so they can have cool ads for their next, uh, for their next political run. Right? As they yelled at her or supported her. Right? The Republicans how they supported her, the Democrats, how they shook their fist at her. And that's going to be on their ads. This is basically now fodder for their ad campaigns. In the future. It's theater. Don't we want to stop that? Don't we want to make a difference? But Larry, can libertarians do that? Please think for a moment. 
What if right now in the Senate, in the, in the U.S. Senate, there were just four libertarians? Just four. Not 26, not 30. It's four. Libertarians would run the Senate. We'd be the swing book for everything. They have to come to us for everything. But not just that. We could cross the aisle and actually get things and solve actual problems, which is what we don't do now. How do you know? How do I know that? Right? Oh, I'm, you're just talking trash, Larry. I'm not. Laura Ebke did it in Nebraska. She did it. Nebraska. She's Nebraska, right? Yes, Nebraska. Almost messed that up. Yes, she's in Nebraska. She actually created a coalition, as a libertarian, a coalition of people to get bills passed. We have one congressman right now who's libertarian in the actual Senate. I'm sorry, in the, in the Congress. Justin Amash. He put together the first tripartisan bill ever. He did that. So I'm not just saying it. That's actually happened and is happening. Or, or, I'm on the blue team, so I'm going to yell. I'm on the red team, so I'm going to yell. You can do that if you want to. You've been doing that for, what, 40 years now? More? How long, how, how long since we've actually had any kind of crossover? Reagan, maybe? I don't know. Is that about right? I don't know. Forever. We're getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And for those of you who actually care about the nation, your county, your state, any of those things, how are we going to heal? You think if Trump wins, he's going to heal the country? You think a Biden win is going to heal the country? Of course not. They're going to support their own, whoever is the victor, and the gap becomes wider and deeper. It doesn't get better. But Larry, you understand, this is the year because socialism, this is the year because racism, whatever is your issue, but whatever is the cause now is going to be worse four years from now, isn't it? It's going to get deeper if because socialism or because racism it's going to be double cause racism or cause socialism four years from now. Unless we change this year. I want us to vote gold this year. Every way you can. Top of the ticket to the bottom of the ticket. If we support this movement, we can heal our country and get things done. I want to bring some up if I could. Who actually is doing that? He's working in his own county to make it happen and running for office locally trying to make things happen. Exactly what I'm talking about. He's trying to make this happen. I'm bring him up here real fast, Pietro Giracci. All right. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be speaking at another one of these events here in Peaks Hill. I'm running for town council in the town of Newburgh, so I'm a little far from my jurisdiction, but lots of people are on the internet. I guess maybe some folks in the town of Newburgh will watch this video. So always worth a shot, right? So I'm running because I think the town council needs to do more to stand up to King Cuomo and embrace more local solutions, especially to the pandemic. We still have businesses that are closed, like movie theaters, and other businesses are limited in their capacities and they're hurting really badly. And that shouldn't be. Businesses should be able to embrace their own precautions, their own solutions. And it's up to you, the individual, if you want to go to that business. Yes. If you don't like their precautions, if you don't think they're doing enough, then don't go. Yes. If you're okay with what they're doing, then go. It's not up for King Cuomo or some bureaucrat to tell you what to do, what you can and cannot do with your business, and how you can and cannot weather the pandemic. It's up to you. You have the power, and I want to bring the power back to the people. I also want to make sure we have mechanisms in place in case there is any police misconduct, and this includes ensuring that we hold them accountable and that they carry liability insurance. Yes. Yes. They do a good, look, the folks in the town of Newburgh, the police, they do a good job, but we need to be prepared. I mean, Eagle Scout, Scout models, be prepared. Always be prepared. And finally, I'm running because the town of Newburgh is traditionally conservative. It is solid red, the entire town board is Republican, but you have a lot of newcomers from the city. I mean, we have folks putting a house on the market at sells in a day. We have bidding wars over homes because a lot of people just want to get out of the city. Guess what? All those people are Democrats, they're liberal, they're blue. They're coming in, and you're going to see the town of Newburgh start to turn purple and finally blue. And it's not going to take more than a few years, I think. I think by 2024, that solid red town board's going to turn blue. But I can be the bridge. You don't have to shut out one side or the other. As a libertarian, I embrace positions on both sides. And I can bring those to the town council and give everybody a voice. And I think that's important. As the bridge, I can do that, and I can balance liberal and conservative interests, and it will make for a better town of Newburgh for everyone. How do we find you? 
You can find me on Facebook, Ketro S. Gerachi. Not, uh, there are other Gerachi, so not those. Ketro S. Gerachi. Find me on Facebook there. I'll have my campaign page set up. You'll find advertisements for that there. Also, look for the papers. I'm going to drop some ads. I can figure out how to do that, but I know what I'm going to say on them. Yes. So I have it envisioned. I have the ads envisioned. I just have to go and create them and send them in. But I encourage any local candidates to uh, submit to their county official script. Encourage them to uh, get the constituencies to reach out because what's more important, as Larry has mentioned, is the vote for Jorgensen. We need those votes to save our parties. And you just need to tell the Democrats and Republicans, look, New York is going for Biden. It's going to happen. You think Trump's winning New York? You're delusional. So if you are unsatisfied with your party in any way, even if you're a gung-ho Democrat or gung-ho Republican, surely you think your party has room for improvement. So all you have to do is say, look, if the Libertarian Party maintains ballot access, they'll be able to force your party to be better. And that's also why I'm running. We can drive out the vote for me, and we can drive out the vote for Jorgensen. And if someone else's third party, like Green, Working Families, well, chances are their party's not going to make it past Election Day. Chances are they will lose ballot access because they can't pull from both sides like we can. So you're better off going with the Libertarian Party because we embrace at least some of what you believe in, and we can help bring some of what you believe into fruition. Whereas your party is not going to be able to do that. Obviously, the Democrats and Republicans are not going to be able to do that. We can help make it happen. So I encourage everyone watching to call folks in their district, in their jurisdiction, to say, hey, look, you might like your party, you might like Trump, you might like Biden, but a vote for the Libertarian Party is a vote to help those parties be better. Yes. Well, thank you so much. That's what we have to do. Let's get to it. So I'm very happy that we have people like that because what he said was exactly right. We are the bridge. Can you think about the bridge? Can you think of another way for us to make something actually happen in our state or in our nation? He's, I'm so happy he said that. He's completely correct. This is the bridge to our future. We're building for the future, or we can just have that at least mindset. Well, at least we're not going socialist. Well, at least we're not going fascist. Well, at least it's not Trump. Well, at least it's not Biden. Yeah, so we just agree that slowly we're going to decay into nothing. I'm not okay with that. We have to come up with an answer. What are we going to do with all those people who are going to be unhappy coming up here in November? Right? Tens of millions of Americans are going to be unhappy. If Trump wins, they'll be Democrats. If Biden wins, they'll be Republicans. But either way, tens of millions of unhappy people, where are they going to go? I say they come to us. It's exactly what Petro was talking about. You can be as liberal or as conservative as you want to be. Just don't force your views on others. Just allow counties to be counties and states to be states, communities to be communities. We can grow from those communities, find out the right answers, copy and learn, and have a better America. That's what we were supposed to be about. We can still be about that if we vote gold this year. So please, everyone, yeah, I know you all will. Those of you watching, please be bold. Vote gold. Don't make all my, my 62 stops go to waste. <laughs> Don't do that. I took five weeks off, literally, of my business. Not working for five weeks, do 62 stops in five weeks. Don't make me sacrifice for nothing. I'm going to blame you all personally, so don't do that. Vote gold. Be bold. Let's fix this county. Let's fix this state. Let's fix this nation. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.